Have you ever felt that the weight of life or business just weighed you down? Maybe you just wanted to kind of throw up your hands and just say screw it and move away or buy something and just live or play on that for the rest of your life. I know how you feel. I felt that same way too. My name is Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design and today's video is Success Decoded, the difference between pleasure and purpose for ultimate achievement. So today's video is really inspired by one of my successful clients. We were on a call today and we both were like, wow, what came out of my mouth was actually extremely powerful for him. And he's like, you should make a video on that. And so I'll try to keep this short, but basically the weight of business was weighing upon him. And when we were talking about everything, he was just like, you know what? I just kind of want to throw my hands up and just buy a boat and live on the boat, right? And just play with that each weekend and not have to worry about the pressures of business and life and, and success. And I said, the only challenge with that is as a high performer, it sounds good, but in reality, you can never do it. If you're a high performer, you can never just sit back and do nothing for an extended period of time. You could do it for a weekend, maybe a week or two at most, but you want to get your hands dirty. You want to go build, you want to create, you want to go conquer, right? And, you know, I believe God's called us to conquer and take new territory, new ground for our life and for the kingdom of heaven, right? But one of the things for him was he's like, man, it just seems like if I could just, you know, buy a boat and a pontoon boat and just enjoy that every weekend, that would be fun. And what I shared was the reason that that thought came through is because what happens with unsuccessful people or the average person, not putting them down, they're not negative, but what they are is their pleasure focus. They're always looking at what's the next thing or the thing that's gonna bring them pleasure. And that's an external factor, right? And so what happens is they're so focused on the things that's gonna bring them pleasure, they spend money on things like boats or fancy vacations or fancy clothes or fancy cars. And that's gonna give them an immediate return of pleasure. The difference is purpose-focused people, right? Like they have a mission. Hopefully God gave them a mission, a purpose to really follow here on earth. But they, they know what fulfills them. When they're purpose-focused, you those are the ones that are successful. That's more of an internal fire within you. And the reason that we're more focused when it comes to purpose focus, um, you know, activities or our mission or whatnot, is when we're purpose focused, we constantly have to go after it. We can't just sit back and do nothing. And that's why we see the difference in those high performers that are successful than the average person is because they're not pleasure focused, they're purpose focused. So if you find yourself in a position where you're not excelling at the rate that you want, or you're not at the position of success that you want, you have to check in and say, are you really purpose focused or have you been pleasure focused? Like, hey, you're gonna go out to dinner, you're gonna buy the nicest toy, you're gonna buy that RV, that golf cart. It was funny, my wife and I were at Costco, and they were doing discounted golf carts and I was like, well, we live in a nice community, take the kids to the pool and we could use it. If we got the upgraded one, we could use it when we're in the snow and pull the kids. I'm like, super fun. I was like, look, it's only like 250 a month. You know, they were like 10, 12 grand. But I was like, we were being pleasure focused then versus purpose focused. And so what would be the difference if I was purpose focused, right? My purpose would be, am I fulfilling for one? Am I building God's kingdom with my finances? Number two, am I using that money to be able to advance my clients, advance my skill set, advance marketing, advance this YouTube channel? Could I steward my money in a different way? What's going to be the longer lasting ROI that I would receive? And so we said no to it. Plus my wife was like, look, if we're gonna spend money, I'd rather have a massage chair where she could get a massage every day. I could get one, be a way better use of money and probably half the price. Um, so anyway, we're not there yet. Plus the kids, our kids would wanna be in it and who knows what they would do to it. Hi. anyway, we love them. They're awesome and I'll have to get them on the show here soon. But the point is the successful people are purpose focus. They focus on what ultimately they're moving towards. And as I shared with my client, look, as your purpose focus, the 80-20 principle applies. How many of you know what that is? If you don't know what the 80-20 rule says, is that 80% of the time, no matter what you're doing, you are loving it. 
but then there's 20% where it actually stinks, right? And that, look, I will say that that's when working out, that's with marriage, that's with children. 80% of the time it's great, but then there's that 20% that's just kind of like, Ugh, it's not fun. And some of you parents out there might be like, I don't think it's the 80-20 rule when it comes to parenting. Maybe like 60-40. <laughs> Every kid's different, so we won't go there. But anyway, that rule applies. So many people, what they do is they look at the pleasurable things that they can have the next thing. The next thing, it's a car. Six months later, it's a boat. A year later, it's a second home, which could be a good investment, but or it's a, you know a nice vacation, like a timeshare, that they never go to, but they're always paying for. Um, you know, it's it's a golf cart. It's it's X. It's Y. It's Z. It's here we go. And so all of a sudden, all these, it's we're constantly putting money out to get the pleasure from the external. And therefore, it doesn't allow us to invest in assets that produce financial freedom. If anything, it actually causes us to go more into debt for a short term reward versus a purpose driven per person is long term focused, right? They have a purpose on what they're doing. It's not talking about, I'm not just speaking of like, you know, what's your ultimate purpose, but they, they have a purpose that they're focused on and working towards. And it might be in your business, it might be in your uh, relationship or your career, but in this channel, we're really talking about freedom, financial freedom, which means you get back more time. And then ultimately, we'll make another video on this, is about location, mental and emotional freedom. And so there's depths to financial freedom, which I'm excited to go into uh, with all of you. So when those challenging times hit and you question yourself, should I continue or should I just throw my hands up and you know go do this or go on this vacation or buy this toy, it's that you're not really addressing what's going on. And what happens is you start to go further in debt, you start to waste money instead of what's my purpose, knowing that there's gonna be challenges along the way, but there's this internal fire that's gonna keep you moving forward during the challenging times. If you're challenged and you're a pleasure-focused person, you're gonna go and give in to that boat, into that golf cart. You're gonna give in to the new toy or new car, and that's what's gonna cause you to prevent or delay your financial freedom. So, you have to check in. What type of person are you? A pleasure focus or are you more of a purpose focused person? And you gotta know what your purpose is, what you're really working towards. Right now we're building our coaching, we're bringing coaches into co uh, our coaches into companies, organizations, masterminds, brokerages, so that we can help their team actually expand their performance, which will lead to increased profitability, and that everyone wins in this process. That's where we're purpose focused. It's gonna make an impact on our coach's life to live life by design. It's gonna help the business owner because their profitability and performance that our team's going up, the team better, team members, their lifestyle increases and their performance at work, which could lead to more pay for them down the line. And then my wife and I, we create passive income too that way and it allows our life to shift too. So it's gotta be a win for everyone. Purpose focus, especially in business when things get challenging, is what's gonna allow you to go through the hard times. That's gonna be the internal fire to keep you going through versus you always having to go get something external to keep pushing you as you move forward. And I will tell you, I've been in $40,000 credit card debt and beyond, and I will say that I use debt as a way to fill my pleasure bucket, right? Like those external sources to fill my pleasure bucket, and it just delayed financial freedom for me. And if there's one thing I can shift for you today, is to be focused on being purpose focused, where you don't need external, your internal flame is lit at a higher degree, so that you can be able to persevere when those challenges come. The ones who are most successful are the ones who persevere because they have a purpose in what they're doing, not running for external pleasures to help them cope with the challenging time. All right, so today's video is pretty short, but it is a powerful lesson if you start to make that shift. These are the little things, these little shifts that I'm working with with clients around that are making the big difference for them in their companies, in their profitability, and ultimately their path to financial freedom and accelerating beyond that. So with that, if you guys found value in this video, which I know you will, but make sure you give it a thumbs up, comment below, share this bad boy, and then ultimately hit that subscribe button and that notification bell next to it so that you know when these types of videos come out, we have them coming out 
once a week. I have uh, YouTube shorts that are coming out all the time, so make sure you check in on those. And if you have any questions around the power of coaching, maybe you wanna work with myself or one of my team members so that we can help accelerate you, make those two millimeter shifts that's gonna make a bigger difference and full time on your path to financial freedom. If that's you, head over to our website at masterlifebydesign.com. You can go to services and then fill out the application on the one-on-one -on -one coaching. So with that, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See you guys.